It's impossible to stop it. All right, and we're live. All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Today in Millennia podcast, the most important podcast on the planet. I am, of course, your host, uh, Nicholas Pierre. Um, I'm joined across and to my left by the wonderful, well, sort of. Right in the middle. If you're watching on YouTube, there's no surprise. If you're listening, though, we'll save a bit of it. Um, but uh, you're used to this one. Um, our great and wonderful Miss Mihin Sabani, welcome. Hi. How are you? Great. Super excited. I feel like it, it has been so long. I know it's only been a week, but it really does feel like it's more than a week every yeah. single time we do this. A week's starting to feel like a lot. There's a lot of news picking up too, so maybe that's why I do, because there's just like all this stuff going on. I just feel like we could do more. I feel like we could do more too. Um, and of course, hailing all the way from Brentwood, New York, via Honduras, <laughs> the great and powerful hammer fist. <laughs> Mr. Alexio Rivera, how are you, sir? You didn't get drafted. Hello, hello. Didn't get drafted. I'm still here, rocking and rolling. That's good, because they, they asked again about you, but I said you were pretty useful here. They asked for a birth certificate. They were like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I, he has a South African one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he got one of these Riverhead ones. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> these yeah. Riverhead licenses I sent in for him. Yeah, they were like, I don't know if we want this guy. <laughs> and, um, and our inaugural. Exciting episode today. We have our inaugural guest, probably our longest, oldest listener. He <laughs> plays you into every single episode and plays you out, well, sometimes as long as I'm able to cut it in there. Um, you may know him, Mr. Cool World, that's with two V's on Instagram, Jay Rio, or just as I know him, my friend Joel, welcome to the show, sir. Thanks, thanks for having me. <laughs> I'm just going to let you know, Alexio's introduction never gets old. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's the only reason I was so <laughs> like, Is it stupid? And then I'm no, like, I'm amazing. just going to double down. Every time. Let's do it down. every time. It's well deserved. <laughs> I just like, I'm just going to double down on it. So, um, this is our first guest, so you're a guinea pig. If you're watching on YouTube, um, there was no way for us to hide it. I'm not that good with the camera, and we only have one of them. So, um, <laughs> we, we moved it, and so uh, hopefully this works for everybody. But um, we're going to get into our episode. I guess that was always my idea with guests, is to kind of get into the episode... Um, as is, because yeah, I feel yeah, like there's a lot of stuff that comes up, so we'll learn about the guest as well as get to go right through. I'm just a fly on the water. All right, let's go. We're going to have to answer, so you're, you're going to be part of everything. So, um, I guess... Well, without, before we get started, in my history. opinion, uh, I just want to remind everyone to like, subscribe, uh, share with anyone who you think that um, might like the podcast or wants to argue with us. We'll welcome it. Yeah, yeah, do that. Like, subscribe, whatever you gotta do. Yeah, for sure. Follow yeah. us on Instagram. Follow us on every place else. Yeah. I also can't we'll wait plug, to we'll hear. We'll plug everybody, I guess, at the end because I gotta replug. My yeah. unbiased opinion. It's a great podcast. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I can't right. wait, wait to my hear. On it. <laughs> I can't wait to hear Jay Rio's. Uh, uh, opinions on a lot of this stuff. Yeah, and thank, so. and thank God, you know, Joel listens, so he knows exactly yeah, what's yeah. coming, yeah. and uh, he can be right along with us, so I'm excited. <laughs> um, Alright, let's get started then. I guess we'll get started on Iran. Just give everybody... What's segment? Uh, I mean, you know... Everybody in my opinion, I apologize. I thought we were... Here. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to brand over Jesus here. Um, like we'll always, we're going to... We'll get the play. sound bites that we can play. That way I don't have to talk that much. Um, in my opinion is our segment. Mm -hmm. Like always, we start off with in my opinion. Um, and we'll start off with Iran and what's happening over there. What's happening? Um, we talked about it in the last podcast, you know, the, the whole... Um, Execution of Soleimani and you know what happened Soleimani. there. Was that what it was? An execution? Execution. <laughs> that's, what the, 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 that's what they're calling it now. Um, but I just want to add how precise they were. Did you know that they were um, like leaving a wedding with different people? Oh, when and, they got him, and they just yeah, killed him. And just and it literally the bomb landed, killed him and his and like one of his right hand guys. And, and no one else. Family. Really? Wow. Such a precise thing. Well, it's all computers and robots. Probably the pilot, too, honestly. But. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, fuck him. He does everything. He was in a plane. It's his fault for flying. Yeah. <laughs> you put yourself in harm. You're rolling right the dice when yeah, you're flying. Exactly. But um, uh, since the last time we talked, uh, they uh, retaliated. We found out that no one got hurt. They, they blew up like a, like a road and an empty truck. They told us ahead of time that, hey, we're going to do this. Um, and I said that too. That it might yeah. be like some bluff. Yeah, it might be some bluff, and it definitely was. It was just for them to show face um, on their news news networks. They actually said that they killed thirty Americans when it was zero. Really? Zero Iraqis, zero Americans. So it means they don't want to smoke. They were just trying to give their people yeah. something to feel good about. Yeah. Wow. Which leads me to my which is what I said. Theory, which exactly leads me to I my said. theory. Before we get into everybody's opinion, 
they had a theory but behind Soleimani. what this what this really was. Soleimani was gaining a lot of he has a lot of support in that country. Yeah. The guy was he was really popular. Yeah. And they were in talks of him being the next leader and their supreme leader even, they said. So I think their current leader, whatever they call him over there, um, had a deal. They were like, hey, this guy's gaining too much power, he's this definitely gonna great. take me out. And that's the reason why they were like, all right, boom, we're gonna kill this guy anyway, he's bad. And you help me and I'll, and I'll comply with your anti-nuclear stuff, as long as you let me show face and let me blow up like one of your trucks or something. So you think this is all this uh, underground Hell, hidden deal? Yes, yeah. And Trump That's was the idea. perfect scapegoat to be like, yeah, he's okay with because the yeah, Trump is in on it. Did he get some oil or something out of it? Yeah, probably. Probably. 100% probably. or something out of it. Yeah, you better get something for out of it. sure. So, you know, whatever you guys think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Now you blew my mind so with this conspiracy. I right? love conspiracies. I love I conspiracies. I'm so excited right now. Um, I love the idea of it. And, and the next day after this happened, I found some Irani YouTuber and I was listening to her page and she's all anti Soleimani. She's like, guys, if you're listening to this, I need you to know. A lot of people do not support him. It's not what you're seeing in the media. So there is definitely not what we're just seeing, right? There's a, a divide in the country as far as who yeah. supported and who didn't. I figured that. That's so true, though, right? Because on on you watch CNN. Yeah, but that's everybody is a supporter of Soleimani. The news. You watched Fox. Everybody. Of yeah. course. Yeah. That's the news. They made him look like he was Gandhi. Yeah. 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 It makes sense that. that there is a divide there. Of course. If you ask me, it's all a WWE wrestling match. <laughs> oh, for real. I, I don't believe any of it. I I don't pay attention the much whole to politics. World is WWE. This is the only time I listen to politics when I listen to you guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, if you ask me, it's just a wrestling match. And I wouldn't be surprised if your theory is 100% correct. Yeah, uh -huh, yeah. I do. And it, it's like the WWF. The whole world is the WWF. It's just stage performance entertainment and bad shit could happen because it is live action. Yeah. Like, that's basically what, what it is right now. But um, I called that. I said that last yes. week. I said that they did it just to show face. They probably purposely missed. Nobody misses. It's 2020. Nobody yeah. misses with nothing. They hit this guy, the crack of his asshole, and then they missed the whole <laughs> fucking thing. Yeah, you're with these exact yeah, and if they did miss then they should be awfully scared because if they're missing with shit still then they're fucked yeah because we have no miss. chance at that point. yeah we're not gonna miss um i think that it's gonna die out like a lot of stuff and i and i honestly in my honest opinion as as controversial as it may be i don't think any of these stunts were done for this fucking orange fuck to win presidency again i just think that these things are just falling into place at maybe the theory that elected Alexios theory sounds better than Trump did it to win re-election. It doesn't even make any sense. So I'd rather it just be for some oil. I mean, I'd rather you just tell me, hey, we got a bunch of oil, gas prices are going down. I'd be like, fuck, that's fine with me. Bomb more people who have oil oh if that's God. how it's going to work. But I'm um, just, just kidding. Don't bomb more people. Um, isolate, isolate, isolate. Right? isolate. Bomb first, then isolate. Yeah. Um, no, but um, in all seriousness, I just think this is going to die out too. I think World War Three has ended before it's begun. Yeah. No I think the hype was just bigger than anything else. But that's sure. the world we live in. Thank yeah. God we got all those memes. Oh, out. yeah. The memes yeah. are the best, it's part. The best part of everything, dude. Yeah. It's, it's just like the world is is not going to change that quick and whenever people think something big like that's going to happen, you got to know it's a fucking problem. For sure. Nonsense. Why are the first time people died for memes? No, that's not uh, sure. Or, or yeah, yeah, we're murdered over memes. You know, we play uh, a lot of memes. We play a lot of memes. memes with people dying in them. That's that's yeah. like. Oh, you guys think there'll be uh, memes in history books? I yeah, think yeah. Yeah. the invention of the meme will definitely go down in history. For sure. Yeah. I wonder who did it. I but like, I know we're on the clock on the clock these days, so I don't want to just keep right. rambling about yeah. memes. If, We'll keep on the, the political. <laughs> we'll keep on the p political topic, talking about impeachment. Um, there isn't. I mean, the news will tell you different, but there really isn't that much of an improvement on the topic. Um, they didn't send the articles of impeachment over last time, and uh, Nancy Pelosi's been holding on to it to change them to try to get witnesses on there. But um, this, she's saying that she's going to try to send it by Wednesday. Wednesday was the deadline. Tuesday. Thanks, Nancy. Tuesday. Tuesday or when? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today? Thanks for thanks no. for 
fulfilling your constitutional duty that we elected you to do. Yeah. So I was watching it. Fucking parade. I was over at the, the hospital, and the person that's sharing a be, uh, room with my dad was watching Fox News the whole time. And that's what was that's coming what on. Yeah, it was saying something about by next Tuesday, they're thinking that they'll be able to make some sort of, I don't know. The only thing that it. really Trump changed as far as the <laughs> articles of impeachment goes <laughs> is that they want I'm the learning. witnesses. That they want the witnesses, and specifically they're going to try to get um, witnesses that, that were in his... Bolton, yeah, Bolton, the, the biggest uh, the biggest witness that they get, and supposedly he's going to be on there, and they don't want him on there, but I don't think anybody, anything's going to come from this. I don't think it matters anyway. I mean, Bolton oh. says he's got some good stuff, but... I and um, Sanders, Warren, uh, Andrew Yang, uh, none of them believe anything's going to come from this either. They think it's a waste of time. Honestly. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of resources. It's been a waste of time. So it's many things. Think it's smoke and mirrors. Something else is going on. Yeah, look, what the fuck else is going on? I think they just hate this guy so much that he just can't get a life ready. Like, just get a life, dude. No one cares anymore. Like, they tried so much that it just makes it. It makes his case better. It's like they need to just drop this thing. They should have just dropped it when the World War Three thing happened and everybody would have forgot about it. They could have just brushed yeah. under the rug been and been like, "Oh, we made a mistake. We'll try again another time." But I mean, this election is coming up. It, it's it, of course none of the candidates think it matters because it doesn't matter to them. It, it right. doesn't make a difference. Somebody's gonna have to run. It's gonna be Crazy Joe. It's gonna be Crazy Joe and Crazy Don, and they're gonna be fucking boomsticks up there, just fucking <laughs> shitting in their diapers and fucking making fun of each other's hair pieces. It's gonna be the dumbest thing ever. It is the WWE. Joel is correct. That's and, a good way to put it. Yeah. And I'm excited to see it. I, I honestly, I I know that you didn't, but I think Dio Buono said that before too. Like so, and he thinks of things great. So if you put it right in in the best words possible. Like it's a WWE wrestling match out there, and we're gonna get Crazy Joe versus the Big Don, and uh, we're, we're all gonna watch. And we're, we're all gonna watch. <laughs> we'll and we'll watch. keep you posted here today, Millennia. And um, I always said in four years when the next election comes around that you won't even be allowed to run unless we say it's okay so we just got to keep on just pumping the right people and shitting on the wrong people and uh and we'll get there eventually sleepy joe biden sleepy joe and he's fucking creepy joe too that's that's what he's gonna Such be called the poor guy man. dude he, yeah trump's gonna rip him is to he pieces. creepy Super yeah, yeah, he was telling a story about kids. He likes when kids touch his leg hair. No, no. he was saying he was saying he was. No, oh my God. no that is what he said. This is no, how rumors well, get started. <laughs> so he said that I don't he, was, fuck. he was doing a speech up? at a Biden rally, and he was he was on topic. He was on the notes and everything, and all of a sudden he said, he goes like, "Oh, and here's another thing." And that's when he gets off the rails. He starts talking about his own He's stuff. Like Eighty years old. And he goes like, you know, I got, I got hairy legs. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Kids like to play and with him. Kids like to play with him. You know, they're like brushing up on him. That's like, what he said. He was like, it, oh my god. Dude, they don't oh, call one of his freaking constituents at a rally of his. He just asks a very simple question about his son and the fucking corruption and stuff, and he, like, called him fat. He's like, I'm not fat like you. I don't watch the news. He's like, yeah, but on the news, this is what they call it. And he's like, well, I'm, that's what you do. Sit at home and be fat. He kept calling him oh fat God. and shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this is a while ago, too. But Biden's insane, dude. The only way, reason he's going to win is because more boomsticks know his name than anyone else. Yeah. And they're just going to come out to the booths in droves, fucking... Even though I know the most that privileged name. people alive, all these fucking white boomstick yeah. females are gonna come out all ready to go. You rip roaring, Joe Biden, Joe Biden, Joe Biden, yeah. and, and and Joe Biden's just gonna lose. That's what's gonna happen. And then Donald Trump's gonna be president. I call do you have it. a choice? Do you have a pick for the for, for the presidency? I don't. I don't watch wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't watch wrestling. <laughs> I watch that shit, and that shit is entertaining as fuck. I, I don't know. I think like I think it's gonna take like you said like four more years for anyone who thinks any different to make a difference in yeah. in any kind of decision. For now, years. it's up to the boomers. And then I'm, I'm boomers. more like maybe fifteen to twenty years before it can make before anybody's difference. making oh my a difference. God, that's such a bleak way to look at. Yeah, it's a long time. I think we can. I think we can get somebody different get in there. The but for now, the boomers, boomers, boomers they need to. Uh, they need the to. Of my life. They need to die. <laughs> they need to die or pass over into the afterlife. One of those two. Options. What is the difference? <laughs> 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 One's more. Only one of them could happen. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
no difference. Same exact thing. Yeah. So that's the only two things that needs to happen to the boomers. And if you're related to me and you're a boomer and you have a list of the show, which all those things could not line up at once. My aunt, maybe. But um, I don't I don't want you to die that bad. Um, <laughs> just, I said I would give you 35 years I, I at least, right? Didn't I say that one time? That was pretty gracious yeah, yeah, yeah. to me. I gave him to 100. But I want you to stop making decisions at 80. Like, so 15 years of decisions, maybe tops. Yeah. And then we just 70. need to... And the generational gap is too too big. Man. Yeah, yeah, and just start pushing them out windows. I don't want to make any decisions after 75. Yeah, yeah I don't 75. think anybody should be. Yeah, nobody yeah, should be. Why are these driving. people making... Except, like, I mean, like, Trump's on drugs, so it's a little different. Like, he's on a lot of... got to be on some kind yeah. of speed. Like, he's on something. Yes. But other than him, I mean, how could you be 75 years old and really make realistic, honest decisions? Like, just ridiculous at that point. Plus, old people are entitled, so they think everything they think is right. Yeah. You're never going to get anybody ever, like, changing their opinion or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's why we got to get rid of them. So we'll start a campaign. Merc your local oh old my person. God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> just kidding. That's a joke. It's just jokes, people. They're all just jokes. It's my opinion. It's not my opinion. I mean, it's just a joke. I don't want old people to die. I'm the only kidding. I have no grandparents left, so maybe only I really do want them to die. I don't know. Um, what's next? All right, so next, I'm going to play a video for you guys, um, and this is Jillian Michaels talking about um, Lizzo, Lizzo, Lizzo's badass, basically. This woman, it doesn't show the beginning of the of, of what her question was going to be. Um, it seems like her, she was just going to be like, what do you think about this new body positivity, people like Lizzo, you know, being celebrated for their body, you know? And obviously, Lizzo's obese. Great music, all of that, but she's a big girl. Oh, um, and so this is this is her. Um, <laughs> why are we celebrating her body? Why does it matter? That's what I'm saying. Like, why aren't we celebrating her music? Because it isn't going to be awesome if she gets diabetes. <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm just I love her music. Like, my kid loves her music. But there's never a moment where I'm like, and I'm so glad that she's uh, uh, overweight. Like. Why do we? Why do I even care? Like, why is it my job to care about her weight? Because you're somebody who wait, 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 wait. helps people lose weight or put weight on, and that's why people assume that you would care. And you know, she is who she is. This is who she is, and if you don't get it, you don't get it. But we're not celebrating her body. We're celebrating the fact that you are. No, we're celebrating the fact. Fuck the view. I just, yeah, fuck those guys. It's just always interesting. They're, they're the only ones that had a little clip. They're, they're, the wor- they're the worst people ever, the fucking view, dude. Like, yeah, they just uh, oh. they just got Joe Budden out of here, too, with that a same, a similar clip. So Yeah? Yeah. Really? Joe- yeah, the, the view is, th- I mean, they do their job. You know, they, yeah. they're... Yeah. They want to talk shit, so they you have to watch it. That's a hater-ass bitch show. I say that's a hater-ass bitch show. That's a hater-ass bitch show right there. I don't think I've ever gone through an entire episode. I've, ne- I've never seen anything but clips, and yeah. I know it's the worst show on television. You know it's not? The Learning Channel. You know what I was watching on the Learning <laughs> Channel this Sunday? Um, I was watching, and then we'll get into Jillian Michaels calling Lizzo fat, yeah. obese, basically half yeah. dead lady. Um, a lot of death on our show for some reason. Um... What the fuck did I see now? I can't remember. Um, oh, the guy has five wives. You ever seen this? Fucking me. Oh, sister yeah. wives? Sister wives, okay. yep. Sister wives. So they like live. The women are sisters. No, no they're not sisters. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. They're just like, you know, yeah, they're sisters. When sister the, wives. When a Mormon they're man. They're married in sisters. When a Mormon man has multiple wives, they call wife. each other still sister wives. Oh, that's weird. They're yeah. sisters. Their family is blood. It's fucking. That's and true. so they used one to. Team, these team. people own the whole end of a cul de sac, bro. The whole thing. Like, all five houses in each one Shut of them. Up. Yeah, lived in different houses. And the guy was saying how, like, he's like, I do like how we drive a little further now because I can get the drive to click my head from one family to the next family. He's like, it was hard to do when I just walked next door. They're in Mexico? No, they're in fucking Utah. They must be. They're not. Nah, they were. They, they were in, anymore. They were in Vegas. No, nah, I think he's only married to one. I think the other ones are all oh, like illegal. Whatever the fuck. Most men can't handle one wife. I'm this guy wife. handles four like a fucking G, bro. He doesn't. None he of needs, them are telling him he needs an award what for a living. Uh, my mom says developer. That's just a big word for developer. people don't know what people do. Like, yeah, he's a yeah. developer. He's yeah, I'm in marketing. 
Yeah, exactly, right? That's the same thing. He's in construction. Supply and demand. He's a fucking yeah. sheep, that guy, dude. He's not in construction. But, um, yeah, so I think it's like, that's what she said, developer, but boy, oh boy, is that channel good. Anyways, to Jillian Michaels. Um, I mean, what, what is my opinion supposed to be? She's hard. That was harsh. I mean, like, that was just, Harsh? Really? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think that was the really. nicest way to put it. No, I don't. I think the diabetes part leading up to that, all the way up to when she was like, I don't even give a fuck. Why would I give a fuck? Like, then she just was, like, acting callous and, like, whack. Kinda. Actually, I think she was trying to defend herself. Yeah, she got that. mad. The girl, like, got def- offended. Like, let the girl get offended. What did you think the she girl was going to do? She didn't realize it was going to be offensive. Yeah, yeah I, don't think, I don't think. I think she just got emotional. And it's daytime TV, and you can't be, like, that emotional. You can't be that opinionated. It's, again, daytime yeah. TV. Yeah. Yeah, but just handle yourself like a fucking like, I, I guess, but I mean, I, I don't, I don't disagree. You know, when we're talking I about totally large agree. people, um, not just again focusing on the the music and what she's actually doing. Adele is Adele's plus size, but we don't talk about her being plus size. You know, she doesn't flaunt being plus size. She I was gonna say that she doesn't flaunt it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would this be a topic fifteen years ago? That's no. my question. It it doesn't even make sense. It's like the Peloton thing. Like, mm-hmm. we're, why would we promote something that's not appealing to the eye? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I can't be a model. I'm not like bitching about it. You know, I mean, I'm great looking. I know what you guys are thinking. <laughs> you probably could be there. but the truth is, I can't. I'm too short. I don't have that right look. Like, I'm not gonna cry about it. I know what the fuck people want to see in a magazine. It's not me. So I'm gonna pick a different career path. Yeah. You know, it's like. The truth is, being overweight is not a good thing. And if we celebrate it, which again, I'm not saying that someone should be down by being overweight. But those two things are But if you celebrate it, what it happens is you you make our children feel like it's okay, right? And then it's just it's it becomes normalized, and then our kids die from from diabetes, like she was yeah. saying. Yeah. So again, it's nothing wrong if you're plus size. That's fine. Live your life, be happy, dress the way you want to dress. But I don't think it should be celebrated. She wasn't also always this big. I've seen like videos and pictures of her from a younger age, and she was not this large. Really? So it's not like it's a genetic thing where we can kind of just say, oh, she's big bones. She's got that money, started eating. Uh, she started fucking getting down. <laughs> I mean, listen, I agree 100%. We shouldn't celebrate it. Like, that's exactly my point. Like, you put, like the Peloton, you put in shape people on commercials to sell shit that gets you in shape. You don't put out of Because then, ce- then you're celebrating. That's what you're saying. You're saying, like, oh, this is okay. You could be out of shape and like and like unhealthy. Like she's right. unhealthy. There's a difference between overweight and she is yeah. is probably borderline on obese. Like she's no, not she's that obese. tall. Yeah. I'm obese. I would be considered obese. If I went to the doctor really? right now, that's yeah. what they would tell me. Oh, she's not freaking obese. And I think it's misleading too because she's celebrating because she's a celebrity. But if you get a regular girl, right, that's like in high school and she thinks that she can dress like Lizzo, people are going to make fun of her. Yeah. Right? And then she can't come outside because she's like, well, they're celebrating Lizzo, but not me, you know? And then her, it's it's fucking up her head. Well, that's like, I always think that about like when people try to be like hush-hush about weird things that people do or like, oh, mm-hmm. this person's offended. Like, oh, the, this kid wears fucking, you know, a pink bra under his shirt every day, but he likes it. So no one in school can make fun of him. Like... That is a fucked up paradigm because you're you're not only tricking this kid into thinking what he's doing is okay or whatever, but you're like tricking everyone else into thinking it's okay to pretend that there's no elephant in the room. Like, like that's just a weird way to even think in general. Like, that's how human beings are. Like, hey, you're fat, so they call people fat. Like, you're wearing a pink bra and you're a dude. And it's Did this your happen shirt. in your school? Yeah. yeah. Um, I just, it's just that's pretty specific. Yeah. 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 I, I just can't picture it happening. I just think I, it, it probably happens. Can I I see under your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, it happens. I'm sure it happens. Check it. Check it somewhere. I bet, you, I bet you it's happened before. And if it hasn't happened, it will happen. And regardless if it does or it doesn't, the point's still the same. Like, to have everybody just walking around like this shit is not happening. Like, no, this shit is happening. Like, And that's what you're teaching people. Like, okay, everybody else is just supposed to pretend that this bigger girl is just as beautiful as the actual beautiful girl. Like, we're all supposed yeah. to pretend well, that. Yeah. And there's nothing in your brain that could ever trick you to believe that. It's always going to be fake. If you're always going to act like that, it's always going to be fake. So, like, that's what we're in there's the There's a ton of guys that like the fake. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but that's fine. But let them like that. But, like, to, to say it's the norm, it's just, like, hushing up a 
big majority of people who are like, wait a second, that's that's what that it's looks good. Forcing them to see that that's okay. Thank God we still live in a world where you show it to anybody and people are like, oh, that's fucking we gross, still, you know? We can all have opinions. And but they're trying to turn us into a world where as soon as you look at that, even if you're amongst friends, you got to be like, well, she's just showing her shit. Well, I don't think it's about the appearance thing because like, like you were saying, it. some people like that. It's not about the appearance. It's about the health matters that yeah, come yeah, with. Yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? Like, that's the real problem. <laughs> yeah, and you're, you're celebrating. That's what I'm saying. It's like for us to all pretend like this is the greatest thing we ever saw, like or whatever we're supposed to pretend like. Like no, like that's hideous. She should be called out for it, and we shouldn't celebrate it because she's right. You get diabetes. No, that's it. It's just that it's not okay to be unhealthy. You know, regardless of it. You know, America's already looked at as like the fat country. Right. For sure. And yeah. I think if you were to ask anyone that's overweight, like if you can instantly give them a six pack, they'll they, everyone would take a six pack. I did. Yeah, hundred percent. All right. So let's not bullshit. I would tan my taint for one. I said. <laughs> oh my God. For four months. <laughs> for, four months. for four months. I said. You walk around with a sunburnt taint. But yeah, that's that's the other point. That's another great point. Is like, is sometimes people are that way, and then they're just like, oh, I'm happy the way. I mean, it's good to be happy, but yeah. don't pretend like that's the way you prefer it. If you could have your your choice. All right, just our next topic. Is this part of in my it's opinion? In my opinion, yeah, because I didn't want to. I didn't want to say in today memes and then. And right, talk well, about in my Instagram. opinion, this is the best fucking page on Instagram. Rogan told me about it, and I guess told Alexio. <laughs> are we both been watching it? It's so weird. Have you this seen morning? this? Never. Oh, you guys are in for it. Dude. This morning, I say, "Hey, Nick, what do you think we talk about this?" And he was just, and he was just, and I was like, "I saw this Instagram page," and he said, "Today, na- no, not, uh, nature is metal," <laughs> dude, and I was like, "Yes!" <laughs> I, I saw that. Say. I saw that moment. You guys yeah, didn't yeah. say it. Yeah. Yeah. So we found this Instagram page through watching Joe Rogan. It seems like we watched the same episode, so we we both pulled it up. This page is insane. Guys at home, and it's just real life. It's just real life. It's just like what animals really do: predator, prey. They make it happen. Play this shit. So let's go to a a good one. So this is the picture, right? Um, I love the freaking captions. This is easy on the eyes and it's a hawk that's eating a fish with both its eyes and its beak yeah just rip rip the eyes clean out of the fucking clean the out fish and he's that's just pretty savage oh, savage yeah. oh this weird you ain't seen nothing yet nothing right keep it moving keep it moving because one of my favorite things shit. about this page is so you see angry. how prey actually eats eats um how how predators eat their prey before they're dead yeah um oh yeah, so, the bunny no okay <laughs> Oh, we'll get to the bunny. Oh, no. We'll get to the bunny. Um, what the fuck? Oh, darn it. All right, ready for this? There you go. So then this <gasps> is a giant dura- giraffe. <gasps> giant. Just standing on his skinny little legs with fucking five. It says six full-grown lioness just it. hanging on her. Six Two of them are just hanging on her back, and then three of them are just biting her legs, and she's still it. pumping. She's still trying to get out of there. Yeah, yeah. She, well, she's not trying. She's oh. standing. It's so crazy. Look at him climbing. The but this is this is, is probably after yeah, probably like a mile or two of it's trying to get away. Yeah, yeah. Because at first it's a sprint, but then the giraffe gets tired. Yeah, and now and they're hooked on, and, and they start like ripping at the spine and shit. Yeah, and, once and they'll they start, start eating. Them, it's so normal to them. They're not like some of them are not even paying attention to what's going on there. Yeah, there's not even any need well, yeah. to them, and then they'll come through when there's a little bit of need. Look yeah, now the giraffe's moving. He got a little energy. The giraffe's got a little gust out. See if he can pull away. But the two, there's, there's four of them just laying on his legs, oh, hanging on his legs. What, what do you think that is? Moving. Two, four, six hundred pounds worth of lions? Yeah, just dragging them. Oh, way more than six hundred pounds. The giraffe endured it for oh, five like two, hours, five according to the photographer. The giraffe did dealt with that for five hours. What that's that's like two weeks of dinner. So crazy. Oh, for sure, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you see the thigh on Yo, that thing? Yo, let right? that one. The hyena? That's a, it's a great Oh, yeah, so shot. this is just a picture, but this is a great shot. Yeah, it's a hyena just holding, a, a, obviously, a male lion's head, like, just its skull in its mouth. I mean, Lion King. Well, it goes around. Yeah. That is. <laughs> but, yo, there's some crazy videos. So right now. Let's get some right? crazy shit. Oh, Let's look at this oh. fucking ox, dude, like, just barely hanging on. I can't. This is what I mean. Dead. These animals will start eating them before the, before... Oh. So this ox, all his entrails, guts and everything, hanging out of him, he's still trying to run away. Yep. There's a picture of a zebra, go back. There's a picture of a zebra with no legs left. Just barely got out the water. No, not back. It's fun. No, it's it's going down. Uh, No. 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 Oh, yeah, this is rowdy. Watch this, dude. Birds are sad. So this is a falcon eating a rabbit. And watch the rabbit. Just keep your eyes peeled on the rabbit. Let me go. Ah, <laughs> he's, he's still alive, alive, dude. And the thing just 
stomps him in the head like, yo, shut the fuck up, dude. I'm trying to eat here. I'm trying to eat over here. My dad loves this kind of shit. Ugh. Dude. Where it just goes. Where's the giraffe? Look at that poor Oh, this one's a good one. Lions climb trees, boy. Oh, yeah. This baboon's up in a tree. Lion climbs up the tree. They, they corner him so he can't get down, and the lion just jump, leap, grabs him out of the tree. Oh. Oh, Dead my God. Boy. They just Done. mold him to pieces. Do you think there's, like, a higher power that watches us as, like, Oof. as we eat chicken? Nah. Like, it's probably, like, they watch us on the food. It's network. nothing exciting. They probably watch these <laughs> people, too. They put, they probably watching the same shit we're watching. Like, yo, their animals are way more exciting. What is deer. That? Dogs better not fuck around with deer either. Did it kill it? No, it doesn't kill horse. it, but he fucks them up. So this deer, this, this mom is protecting its um, its little baby, cats. and he sees this. nothing happens to the cat. Okay. He sees that there's a cat here, and she's like, "What's up with this cat?" But he she sees a uh, a dog off into the distance, and goes like, "All right, let me try to fuck this dog up before he tries to eat my baby." Oh, oh. done. Oh. Done. Stomp oh. on that dog. Yeah, just run after the deer. Don't stop. Uh, honestly, if it was my dog, I would I would have tackled the fuck out of that deer. Yeah, yeah, we would have ran after it. That was crazy. Yeah. This woman is screaming and someone's filming. Dude. Parasites are my favorite. Oh, thing. yeah. I didn't explain that one. So, basically, a deer just stomped the shit out of the dog. Yeah, the shit, shit out of it. Like I don't know. This is better than World Star. This is insane. <laughs> right? This is insane stuff, dude. So this is um an adult toad fly lays its eggs in the nostrils of um, <clears throat> frogs and toads, um and then the as the eggs hatch they'll eat the inside of the frog, um and it's fucked. As That's you can so see. crazy. You see all the all the little uh, larva uh, of the fly inside the nostrils. Oh, imagine! So you can't pull the stuff out of your nose! Oh my god, dude. It's like an oh. infinite stuff you're pulling them from within. Slowly. Dude, that is this disgusting. This fucker right here. Oh, I want to see one emerge. Flies are disgusting. You ever seen a bot fly? No. Bot Ooh, flies get no, laid on yeah. the skin. They can actually get laid on a human Jeez, being's skin. Yeah. And they grow like a couple layers under the skin like a big bump. And then when the thing hatches, it rips itself out. This up. guy in, uh, in somewhere in Asia, I think, has a YouTube page where it's just nothing but that. Bot flies and shit. He has, he has, um, he, he brings in dogs no. and have a ton of them and he'll just squeeze them out, squeeze oh. them out, squeeze them out. And he rehabilitates them and stuff. Okay. But they have so many, it seems like hundreds. It's two people just squeezing them out. They pop out like fucking. Oh, I would love that. Uh, it's, it feels, it, it's, but the holes are so much bigger. It's disgusting. It's the thing so is living gross. inside of you. Wait, let's see if we can find this zebra for it. Oh, look at this oh, Komodo, this dragon. Komodo this dragon. This is insane, dude. Nope. These fucking... This is the one I wanted to show you before. These I'm things playing. are gnarly. Nope. Look at this. The neck on that thing. Look, look at this He's thing. alive! He's fucking he's alive. He's just ripping oh, chunks shit. out of him. Nope. And they're just, poisonous, so this I'm thing just is just like, hurting so bad. You know how Komodo dragon kills his prey? Oh, he just took his ear off. You know how Komodo dragon eats, kills his prey? It bites it? I know, I'm because they're, they're slow. They're slow, and they're... He left it there. He's full. To die, yeah. Um, so Komodo Dragon, all it does is sneak up and it bites it one time. And then it waits. And then, it, and then the thing runs away. He's like, what the fuck? And he's slow too. So, But it waits days, a week, sometimes two weeks. But the poison from its saliva will slow, will slow it down, will slow it down until they can't walk no more. So they're not dead from the poison, but they're paralyzed. It's paralyzed. That's what's wrong with So this guy can't stand up. He can't run away. Damn. Just and he's just ripping chunks like right out of his ear, dude. dude. This Komodo dragon is ripping this cat's ear I'm off. assuming his name is Mike Tyson. Oh my <laughs> god, dude. It's Mike Tyson. You're a fucking lizard, bro. Jeez. It's fucking awful. Christ. Oh my god. All right. Let's uh, where's this goddamn this. zebra? There he is, right there. Look at this. Oh, oh, shit. He got snagged by a crocodile. He's trying to run away. It's just a perfectly timed shot where obviously the next step this thing takes, it's hitting the ground. And, and look what it says. Uh, the zebra was attacked, pulling off in the Mara River, but instead of succumbing to its aggressors, a jolt of adrenaline and strong survival instincts only served to stall his own inevitable death. According to the photographer, he laid down the riverbank and died shortly after this photo was taken, presumed to be reclaimed by the crocodile that ripped him open in the first place. 
Boom. Dude, the thing has no back legs, if you're listening. No back legs. Just a fucking... Just look at this trail cam picture of a fucking mountain lion. Look at that. Imagine you're walking down the fucking trail in the floor, in a park somewhere, you and you see me? this asshole. Dude, this mountain Number lion... Number one, I wouldn't fake. be there. Look, right. at, look at the <laughs> caption. Boss this music absolute, starts. <laughs> this absolute <laughs> unit of a mountain lion they wrote was captured on a trail cam, meaning no one's in danger. Dude, this thing is a unit. Like, this thing is Derrick Henry, bro. The Derrick Henry. Dude, look at the muscles lines. on that thing. Yeah. Mm hmm. This thing is a fucking kind gorilla cute. monster. You would say. Oof. I, <laughs> it's not a cute thing, it's terrifying. It's so terrifying. Cute. That thing would murk you, dude. My cat terrifies me. That thing would murk you. <laughs> look at the. Um, there's just so much good stuff. So, I mean, obviously, we could look forever, probably, but if you're not checking out nature, is metal. That's metal, like the stuff that you build stuff out of. Metal, like steel. M E T A L is how it's spelled, I believe. Nature is metal, and uh, it's fucking awesome, dude. This, this shit is just crazy. Look at the wild dogs around that big calf go up there. Right there, look at that. A little wild dogs. They say wild dogs are the best hunters in the world. But they can't keep their they can't keep their prey like they're just like the lions and shit just take it. Yeah. So they're like, but their like percentages are like triple what everybody else is. Eighty percent. Like, yeah, it's like eighty percent. If they just if they decide they want an animal, basically a hundred percent most of the time they get it. Cause they don't get tired. They don't get tired. They have the whole pack. They have they're like perfectly timed. Like if you look at like lions hunt, they're like they're like twenty percent. Like cheetahs are even worse. They just try to chase it down. You know, see if they catch it. Sometimes they can't. Cause these are all sprinting animals. Mm. Like an ox, a yeah, lion, pack a cheetah. They sprint and then they run out of gas. Crazy. A pack of dogs, they can run forever. Maybe just a mountain lion just stealing, uh, sharing a meal with the in the bottom left. On oh, bottom left. That's intense. Sharing a meal with the fucking wolves. Oh, he's so cute. Look at that. I do love mountain lions, I, I've decided. Mountain lions are cool, but they're freaking... They run into you, boy. You're, it's over. You're gone. Yeah, dude. You're a goner, for sure. You're a goner. No sense of content. Those are always the best ones. Oh, my God. The snake uh, ate itself or another snake? A snake tried to eat another snake, and, and it looks like something else ate him. Yeah. It's a bad idea. I feel like. All right, we can go. Right. Like, like well, you say, we can go we forever. We can go forever, right? but you should check that out. How crazy is that? So nuts. It's so sick. Nuts. I'm gonna go follow it right after. Yeah. Nature is metal, bro. If you haven't seen it, fucking go uh, check it out. It's insanity, dude. Absolute right. insanity. That's probably a sick video of this hyena right here. Maybe we should just. Well, end maybe on that we one. could just not watch it. Yeah, this one's probably sick. Oh yeah, this goat is just relaxing. He doesn't even realize. <laughs> He's just oh eating, God. daydreaming, and you know what happens when you daydream? Oh, oh you're done. done. God, and he's much. not letting go ever. Nah, that's it. He's done. Lionas have the heart, the strongest bite force in all the animal kingdom. Do they? Yep. So uh, I want to know why you know all this. <laughs> 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 that thing is that's a lot of, lot of. Does uh, he bring them down and then? What's that channel? Animal Planet, animal planet, animal planet for yeah. sure. Damn, dude, he's just laughing. He brings him down. He just, he's just. People this hyena is just holding. Yeah. Oh, I see a goat in the back with oh. his hair oh. comes everybody else. Yeah, the, yeah, the boys are just not helping <laughs> at all. They're just gonna start eating. That's, that's it. That's that's it. Like I'm right, yeah. ripping right into the goat. Why is no oh. one running in the back though? Yeah, they oh. usually do. They I don't know why the goats are running. The other like, gazelle. They're preoccupied. Not because they know they're not gonna they get caught. Yeah, they're not gonna get caught. They can't catch a grown one. Look at this old one coming along. Oh, how sad. Oh, that was yeah. crazy. Um, so yeah, so check it out. Nature is metal. If you want to see a bunch of animals dying. A lot of death. A lot of death here today, Melania. Sorry about that. <laughs> you know, I never notice it until you keep pointing it out. But Sorry. yeah, there's a lot of death. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's okay. This is not death. Um, this one's not death. This one's weird as fuck. Oh, today 20, in Florida. 2020 edition. The first <laughs> ever of the year. Today in Florida. 2020 This is my edition. favorite segment. <laughs> uh, Florida man wakes up to a burglar sucking his toes. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> Play this shit. Is there a clip for it? No, I don't think there is. Nah, it's just a right, story. Read it up there. I'll read it. Read it. All right. A snoozing Florida man received a very rude awakening on Christmas Eve from a creepy burglar sucking on his toes. The startled Bradenton resident, resident then asked the sicko what he was doing, to which the stranger replied that he was there to <laughs> suck toes. <laughs> the Bradenton Herald reported, citing an incident report... But the man's blah, blah, blah. Police say a fight then erupted and the suspect the suspected tried to grab the man's genitals and even threatened that he had a gun. 
No weapons were ever displayed according to the cops. Sorry. The victim managed to boot the intruder out of his home, but the criminal then bashed a window to the residence and wrecked the victim's car windshield before fleeing the scene, the news outlet reported. Authorities took DNA swabs from the victim's toes in order to track down the weirdo. That's the best part of the story. Oh, that yeah, is the 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 story. Dude, that is such a Florida story. Like, if that happened anywhere else... You couldn't even believe it. No. You wouldn't even believe it. But I'll tell you what, if that burglar broke into my house, that would be his last day with that fetish. I have the <laughs> ugliest feet in the world. <laughs> I, I, so I don't even clip my toe. <laughs> He'd be pissed. <laughs> It'd be the last day with that fetish, I guarantee you. I feel like, like, like the type of guy crit. that would get pedicures. No, not me. Nah, I have Nancy toes too. I don't even I'll get a tongue. manicure, but oh you're not touching my toes. I don't even clip my tongue. I'll cut the guy's tongue off, probably. You just have talons. Talons hang off. You'll probably die from like poison. I got sucked to roll shit and I'll fucking explode. It'll die. Some yeah. shit will pop in his mouth. I got them I've before. These poor women, when they see my feet, boy, it's fucking something. I've gotten manicures, but never a yeah, yeah, yeah. I got both of them before. But, uh, yeah, that's all, this, yeah, that's the last day I had that bullshit. Yeah. Shut my foot right Fetish back. over. Yeah. Shut my shit right oh my down. God. I feel like this guy's not getting out of my house. I'm getting him. Yeah, he's dead. He's, yeah. Just for being fucking weird. Like, I'm just gonna cut his toes off. And then that guy found him like that. I'd rather you rob me than to try to suck my toes. <laughs> just don't show his off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then suck yeah. my toes, bro. Because I'm a grown man. You're not gonna disrespect me. Yeah, you're trying to suck my toes. Exactly. In my own house. Exactly. You ain't even gonna say no homo, bro. No, what the like, fuck? Balls, nothing. Just. How does, wait, how does he How does he not wake up, though, when you feel like. If you feel somebody touching you, how do you get his foot in his mouth? I guess he, was like, he might have been like two toes deep so by the time this guy grew up. You know, like, I think he was doing like, it one at a time. Ten toes down. It was probably like part of his, his dream, down, yeah. you know? He's like, oh, that feels good. Oh, what the fuck? Like, like, you know, like it took like two, three toes oh, for him to wake up. That's a Are you a heavy sleeper or a late sleeper, man? I wake up. That's the sound of anything. Yeah. I would wake up if you sucked on my toes. I was going to say, I'm a heavy sleeper, but if you touch my feet, I'm waking up. I don't, honestly, I don't think anyone's ever sucked on my toes, so I don't know what that sensation feels like, so maybe I wouldn't. Wake up, but I would try to I like to assume would. that I would. Yeah. I think you would. I think I'd be right awake if someone was sucking on my toes, and I will probably just fucking keep this guy in my house for like six years, just <laughs> just because. Six just because. years. Six years. <laughs> <laughs> just time. Just time. Have now. random people oh come over and put God. their feet in his mouth. Yeah, yeah. Just be like, yo, I got more toes for you, bitch like ass toe sucker. Everybody's throwing rocks at the toe sucker. <laughs> Everybody comes over. Or only shit. showing pictures of the hands. <laughs> I just make him suck my fingers every night. That's his punishment. <laughs> yeah, that is suck weird. my fingers. If Nick was like a Victorian, um, like upper classman that could just get away with shit, yeah, I feel like you would things, actually yeah. do this shit. For sure, yeah. Especially you back in those days. Like, yeah, you've yeah, wronged yeah. me in this way. Yeah, you're yeah. Just shame. I'm not lie for an eye. You know how I feel I about know. that. I know. I understand. Like, I think you breaking in and sucking my toes is well worth me throwing rocks at you for six years. Six years, though, sucker. man. Yeah, toe suck a bitch. <laughs> there he is. I'm just hanging there. Like, I feel hey. like just calling me a toe sucker bitch is enough. <laughs> That's so degrading. Bro, bro. Toe sucker bitch. No, it's not. Because they're going to take this guy to jail, and he's going to get out in a week, and he's going to see a judge, maybe do some probation or some like community service, and then he's going to be back to sucking toes. Yeah, he'll be well, back sucking toes. When Monday. Nick's done with him, he never he touched another fucking toe again, he's, dude. He's still at large, yeah. He didn't even catch him. Well, he's he probably catch sucking toes. toes right now. I mean, the guy is clearly like one of the best burglars in the world. He needs to just use his talents where they're useful. Like, yeah. how did you get in, get out <laughs> that quick, broke shit, no DNA, no nothing except for on the toes? That's that's it. And like, clearly, you purposely left the DNA on the toes. Like, that was your whole yeah. thing. That's so. his MO. So, this guy is good. Like, this guy is in and out. Bingo, bango. Bingo, bingo. Yo, I love saying Florida. Jingle. Hopefully, you guys do too. Sucking <laughs> toes, it never ends. Gotta love it. Um, how about we move on to too far or not far enough? Another one of my faves. Yeah, do you have a good one here? Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about Gwyneth Paltrow's candle. Oh, it's too candle. far. I hate Gwyneth Paltrow. Um, she has a... She has a uh, Let me guess. You set it on fire, you sit over it, you open your asshole up, and as the flames go up in there, the, the shit that falls out, you're... That's your friend eats that. Exactly it. And then pukes it, and your other friend eats that, and that's how they get better. Exactly. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking knew well, it. she has her own website called Goop, where she sells stuff like that. Um, stuff like the fucking. And she's eating. selling. I, they call that twice bait. That's what they call that. So. She's selling a seventy-five dollar candle. Nice. That smells like that vagina. Smells like her vagina. Oh, her vagina. Is that good or is that bad? Well, I don't know, but it's sold out. 
course it did. Because everybody's <laughs> like, yo, I wonder if she gave this herself. This can't be real. Oh, it's, it's real. real it's her but then I'm like, I mean, how does that happen? I don't know. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, can, can, can I read this? Okay, so with a funny, gorgeous, sexy, and beautifully unexpected scent, this candle is made with geranium, citrusy bergamot, and cedar abs- absolutes juxtaposed with damask rose and ambrot seed to put the mind of a fantasy seduction and sophisticated warmth. So it does not smell like that. your pussy ain't that good. Saying, you know yeah. goddamn fucking smells, bro? You should probably smell bad. Th- those are flowers and those are, oranges. That's great marketing, though. Yeah. That's those what are, I'm saying. That's that's what I meant by I can't yeah. be real. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, it's, it, 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 I don't think like any smell expert took a whiff this, and then gnashed like, it. Yeah, yeah. But I she just sent it out. She just rubbed it on there. You know what would be mad funny? Like, like one of her, yeah. like, her, like, I don't know, arch nemesis in Hollywood, she made another candle for them and just smelled like straight fish store as soon as you light it up. Like, you just turn it on and it says, like, I think somebody like, did fucking do that. Sandra Bullock's vagina. And somebody it's lit up a, a fish on fire and they were like, I got my candle. <laughs> <laughs> That's really, yeah, it's funny. It is great marketing, though. I mean, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. It. I mean, of course she sold out. Of so course, she sold that. thousands of this stuff. Of course. I didn't even know she had seventy five dollars for one website. candle. Why do these people need websites? Like, you don't have enough money to sell shit online, bro. Like, I think they just get bored. Maximize on it. Maximize. I think you get bored at a certain point. Like, if you yeah. What if we start selling merch? You can't go back on this. I'll sell seventy five dollar candles. I'm a fucking sellout, sell out, bro. I'm not <laughs> like, dude. I'll sell the fucking rock. eighty five dollars candles. Smell like Nick's ass if they sell. You're the right. Rock, I'm I think he out, tweeted so the, the, the rock, I think the Rock tweeted something that was like. Uh, I try to I try to make a candle that smells like my balls, but I but I burned myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. But like, it, it's Gwen Paltrow is absolutely ridiculous. Like yeah, always has nice. been, and uh, I like that one movie she's in, Shallow How. I'm a fan of that one. But other than that, I could do without Gwen Paltrow. I don't think she's that attractive. I don't give a fuck what her vagina smells like unless I was gonna actually smell it. <laughs> <laughs> then I might give a fuck, but other than that, I think it's ridiculous. To be honest, I'm not paying seventy five dollars for any candle. Do you know anyone who would? No, no, no. no. What was the question? Buy seventy five. Buy seventy five dollar candle. I would candle. never do that. Do you know anybody who would? It gotta be rich kids, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Rich kids. Probably so or just friends. herbs, just like straight up. Really? Yeah, those some people money. buy like. That's what I'm saying though. Like, but I get that. Like you know, like the internet, those like the Snapchat girls, like the cam, the Chatterbait girls, like they sell like their spit in a bucket. They sell. Like, I have a friend. Their piss in a bucket, but like Shut she up. sells her shit. I have a friend uh, who uh, used to work for me in um, in Milwaukee. She's not. She used to work for me, and she used to she she used to sell her underwear. That's a, that's a regular one. But they sell their shit now. You can buy, like, these girls' shit in a fucking jar. The, the, there's people that buy it. That's the thing. But that Dude. makes more sense to me. Like, if you're obsessed over this girl and you want her spit in a jug, like, kind of makes sense. I'm not... Bu- like, look at this shit. Read the fucking ingredients, bro. She just took a wild guess as to what... Oh, my vagina she probably ain't. smells like... Damascus rose, oh my god, juxtaposed with cedar absolutes and bergamot. I'm like, what fuck off? We're dude? laughing, but Joe Biden bought six of these. Did he know? <laughs> I'm did he, know? he probably did. He probably did. He rubbed down his hairy legs. Oh, yeah, he probably right. fucking licks it when he gets home. Fucking sick. Bro, it's probably Way too people. far, though. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not Way too seven. far? Not because, I think it's great marketing, but I'm not paying $75 for it. I really think what happened is that she was at the factory. They were like, we need a name for this candle. She's like, haha, it smells like my vagina. And, and that's boom. the name. They were like, boom, that'll sell. It was sell. a complete yeah. accident. Yep. Vagina cells. I'm rolling with that story. Um, I just think, yeah, too far. I don't give a fuck. Whatever. You're right. You made a good point. Yeah. Sell out. Yeah, sell out. Yeah. Yeah. Sell out. I don't think far enough. I think she should make one that smells yeah. like her asshole. Her asshole. And... Smells, that's the one I'm waiting on. I don't know fuck with this vagina. Yeah, under boob, shit. Under boob under sweat. sweat. Yeah, oh I'm waiting God. for some real nasty ones. Like, fucking, you know, like morning, like morning ass crack. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> swamp uh, ass. It's already so an air freshener. <laughs> do you guys watch Parks and Rec? Yeah. Yeah? Do you remember bit. Dennis Feinstein's his perfumes? Or his cologne line? No. Oh, he had one called Side Boob and like all really? these random things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he was ahead of the curve. Yeah. He was way ahead of the curve, but Gwen, yeah. Gwenny beat him to it. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, I guess not far enough. Whatever you want to do. Not far enough. Yeah, make it make an ass guy. Make a morning ass Too far? Too far? Too far. <laughs> yeah, too far for you, too? Yeah, just the price. Yeah, it's yeah. a little pricey. $75. I've spent $75. Well, I'd buy it for 7 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's $12, I'd buy it. Yeah, 100%. 
There's a price point I'd buy it at, 75 to 90. Yeah, 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 for sure. I agree with that. Um, I don't know what the next topic is. It's definitely Beanie's Corner, but I have a question mark. Ha, ha, and she ha. has a surprise. Oh, so, okay. we're going to have an interactive corner. Oh. Um, and I'm going to give you guys an option. Right? So, I love spicy food. I love watching oh, people no. eat spicy food. I think it's fucking hilarious. That's um, the water is for? I thought you were just being nice. Oh, there. no, no, yeah. The water is for a reason. <laughs> so um, you're trying to be prepared and guess <laughs> Exactly, and shit. I'm being prepared. <laughs> um, I said earlier that my my corner is going to make you cry today, and I cannot wait. So, I don't cry in 15 years. Yeah, right. Um, so, I got <laughs> fire wings from Nazis Halal, and it's they're, yeah. they're hot. Go for it. All right, let's do it. You know how many of your, your peeps try to look at me crazy when I order their number one? I'm like, whatever you got, hottest one you got. Oh, no, you can't handle it. I mean, yeah, I fucking can handle it. And every time they're like, he handled it. So bring it on. How do you do spicy food? Joel? How do you do? Joel, you're on the fucking show, so you, he looks like he doesn't do well, which is good for content. So, so. I have super bad... He bought food, dude. Oh, no, Everybody really? bought it. But, but, but I can't back down from a challenge. Oh, well, she got so. fries? I got fries to help wash it down. I told the guys, I told them what we were doing because they looked at me. I'm a small girl. They were like, you're getting all these uh, wings. You're going to eat them by yourself. And I'm like, no, we have a podcast. We're going to do a challenge. I'm um, pumped up. And they were so hyped. And they were Whoa. like, take all this. I don't, I don't even shit. like this color. This uh, color looks hot. Are they the same? It looks like death, don't Yeah, it? that color looks like... Are they all the same? Shout out to Nas. Yeah, they're that all the same. God, this just looks like you're going to take a shit, bro. Oh, great. I can't oh, eat man. too many so of these. So here's my... Who's going to eat them all, Chris? We are. No, no, we are. So... Am I eating them all? I, I want there to be a winner. So either we just see who eats the most, or we put a timer on, we each eat one for a minute, and then we let it sink in, soak in, and then we eat another one the next So you minute. you know you can handle this already? Oh yeah, I've eaten Oh, one. she's had them for lunch. Yeah. So oh, you'll yeah. eat the leftovers. Oh, I won't eat how's the, how's the How's the, how's the, um, the flavor of it? Uh, I think pretty good. Um, it almost has good flavor. Oh, the the, the color so doesn't. This, is white sauce this place sweet makes sweet. really good food. This place yeah. makes really. Shout out to Nazis, but um, for sure. How do you do with spicy food? Horrible. Not too well. Horrible. Horrible. All right. How about everybody takes a bite? We'll I'll see, see how well that goes. Not, yeah. It's not a contest. And then if for me. anything, it'll probably be me yeah, and Albert like, you or something. We'll yeah. I don't want to wake up dead. So. I got shit in my mouth. I have to play you because you're kind of home field in there. All right. I only do flats, so break me open a flat and let's get started. I'm pretty sure Nick is half black or something. He only does flats. Alright, let's get this thing going. Look at time you spent in Queens, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is it. I remember all my friends in college are these from, boneless? Uh, not no, no. Oh, no. All my friends in college are from DC and oh. they used to make jokes like that. Like, Just Yo, one. I don't even think black. You're black. <laughs> You're black. You're like, Nick's black. And then one time they asked me, like, your daddy live with you? I'm like, get the no. <laughs> and they're like, I knew you tried. I was like, the end all be all. They had to ask me a bunch of questions. So, so we. Can we talk about uh, jo- Joel has not listened yeah. in the last 25 seconds. Since I'm he read not. that, he's just been staring at it, not paying attention to a word like I'm saying. Setup. The one episode that I come on, you <laughs> This shit highest. does look like a setup, dude. All right, this is why they call me the Wayne King, if anybody want to know. The Wayne King. It smells like a little thick like chicken face. Bone like chicken with uh, uh, gas on it. That's the verdict over there. That's good. Spicy. Are you good. dead? No. All right. It's good. You're going to need a drink. Cool, I don't have water. Oh, wait, I have one for you. Oh, it's not good. It's hot. Woo, it's hot. Woo, it's hot. It's instant. It in- it's But you know what? Instant. To be quite honest, it's good. It's delicious. <clears throat> it's actually good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too bad. It's it, not too bad. It builds. It builds on you. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! It's hot, but it's good. I would order it. Sorry to Jess if she could, if she could hear us uh, chewing. Oh my God, Jess, if you're listening, turn this fucking thing off, dude. I'm not mad at it. I'll probably pay for it tomorrow, but. It's oh good. yeah. Yeah, that's why I don't want to do too many. That was delicious. This is really good. I mean, oh, you should do this every week. I Pick something crazy. Alexia does look like he's doing well. I'm sweating a bit. Are you sweating? Yeah, I'm sweating. Mine was sweating. Yeah, I'm sweating a bit. These are so yummy. They're really good though. Oh. You know what's weird? I had like a good first taste of like a classic buffalo wing. Yeah. But clearly these people don't know anything about classic buffalo wing. Like they just decide to make it the same way. You know, you can tell like that taste. Like good buffalo wings. 
Just like, if you ever eat those big, huge chicken thighs that clearly didn't come off a of chicken, mm -hmm. if you eat those at a bodega and you eat those at a Chinese restaurant, you notice they taste the same. And that's because they're both cat. <laughs> <laughs> Second. <laughs> just a little fun fact for everybody at home. Just teaching people knowledge here. The learning channel. Fuck the learning it. channel. Today, Millennia is here to bring you more knowledge. I'm not mad at these. I thought they were going to be a lot worse. I thought so too. I told them to make them extra spicy. Everyone's going to town. You're going to have to bring something a little tougher next time. Yeah. Something to really get it's people. The color scares you. That's what mm -hmm. it is. <coughs> oh. I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. <laughs> Alexa's over so here watching french fries like they're going out of style. Oh the fries are God. delicious, by the way. The whole thing is good. Damn, I'm a little upset that no one's crying yet. We oh, Alexa's it. on the way. I'm on the way for sure. Alexa is going to cry. Um, and if he does, we'll have it on camera. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know how the chewing sounds. So everybody, hold on, I have no idea. It's the first time we chewing. I have to chew with my mouth open. My, ha my mouth is on fire. What? That wasn't English. I have to chew with my mouth yeah, open. Okay. Okay. I can't form sentences. <laughs> I have to chew with my mouth open. Because my mouth, I have, yeah, my mouth is on fire. Is any of that English You food? want more wings? My mouth is on fire. I have to chew with my mouth open. I'm sorry, Jessica. Why are you eating another one there? Because you guys are going. <laughs> I can't stop. I'm not a bitch. We like them, dude. Like, we're into them. This is dinner. For anyone that doesn't know how hot it is, my fingertips are now yellowish orange now. And you don't even know the color of these. That's the scariest part of it. The color. Yeah. Just I would describe chicken. them as something that came out of hell. Mm hmm They got this, like, I'm going to be the same color when I come out of your ass color. Oh, sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's got that all oh, their ooze. Like, that's the reason why I'm going to stop. I mean, you got to come better than that. I thought you were going to pull out like a ghost pepper or some shit. I mean, I thought these were pretty hot. Oh, they're spicy. Though. You're going to feel it in your chest in like 10 minutes. Listen, I'm the wing king, so I didn't think that was going to be <laughs> difficult at all. My dad's been not paying me a dollar, but claiming he was going to, to suck down jalapenos since I was a kid. So I was well, well prepared. And I actually, I'm up on the wall in Buffalo. For anybody that is not watching, Nick eats flats. Mm-hmm. So he's half black. I eat flats. I eat them only one way. I grab <laughs> the two ends and I rip it out of my mouth. One bite. That's it. And uh, I'm the wing king if anybody wants to challenge. Alexio's not doing well. Our show's ruined yeah. now. Oh, do we have topics at this or no? That's no. it. That's all we got. Mouth on fire. So Thanks Joel, for Thanks for coming. Oh, man. How was pleasure. your experience? It was great. I got some wings. Got to talk some shit. Yeah, we were good hosts. I, I appreciate it, yeah. Uh, uh, we're going to feed the fat guy. So where can, they, where can they catch you at? A <laughs> um, little bit of everywhere. So definitely follow me on Instagram, Mr. Cool World. Not a W, two Vs, because someone took my shit before I got to it. Oh, okay, that one. <laughs> That's why. Um, Facebook, Whoever same you thing. are, we'll pay a decent dollar. Yeah, not too much, so yeah. just let us know. Give me my name. Mm -hmm. um, definitely subscribe on YouTube. Uh, J Rio. Look me up on YouTube. J dot R I O, um, and Spotify. So on Spotify, it's my whole last name. So J dot Nazario N A Z A R I O. Um, show me some love. Mm -hmm. Definitely show them some love too. Check them out. Yeah, if you're uh, if you're a follower of Joel, you can switch over. And of course, if you're a listener of ours now, you can put a face or uh, at least a voice to the, the intro song. My mouth is on fire. Um, Mahin's starting to feel it. Uh, I just feel like I ate some good spicy wings. They had good flavor. Um, I'm a big wing guy, so I'll give you my honest opinion on it here, because um, I am on the wall, if anybody wanted to know, at Buffalo Wild Wings up in Buffalo, New York, where they had like the challenge or whatever. And I'll tell you the big thing about the challenge with the Buffalo Wild Wings is they bring them out temperature hot. That's the problem. Like you can't put it in your mouth. I'm like, this is burning my mouth. And they're like, yeah, because it's too hot. I'm like, no, it's not spicy. I'm trying to explain to the guy. Like, it's not so spicy. I'm like, this shit is hot. The glazing ones? Yeah, yeah, the, whatever the top ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, what I would say is it has a great flavor to it. Well worth the heat. The problem with, with hot wings sometimes is like, they're just pointless. Like, they're just hot. You know, yeah, like, you don't even taste, taste good. Yeah. Like, these make you sweat. They're hot. They're a little ridiculous, but they, they have a the flavor does. that's yeah. well worth eating another one. Yeah. And that's the most important thing about wings. So I'll give them an A plus yeah. rating. Tasty, hot. They're pretty good. Yeah. Um, so another one in the books. I Hopefully we made good time. Who knows? I never have any clue. I think we always make good time. I think we're okay. 
Our inaugural guest, Joel, thanks again for joining us. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. It was awesome. Of course, of course. Um, and uh, make sure you check him out. Uh, of course, I'm at the 10 Kid with an A T H A, the number 10 K I D. Alexio, you can catch him at Alexio, A L E X I O 0503. Also, his birthday if you want to send him something. And Mahin. Uh, thanks to our one of our mutually favorite songs, S E V E N T Y X S, the number seven, uh, on Instagram, and she said anywhere. You can find me on Twitter too. I don't have a lot of Twitter followers, oh, so if you add if you add the followers, I'll say more shit. Last time I was on there, I was yelling at Antonio Brown, so it's been a while. <laughs> um, <laughs> Antonio Brown when he was on the Raiders, so it's really been a while. So um, it's been a long time, but uh, other than that, thanks for listening. We appreciate every single one of you that does. And, uh, yeah, share the thing so other people can, too. All right, thanks, guys. Everybody say bye. 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 Woke up in the morning sweating like a fiend because nothing was where the same. That shit was only a drink. Who were? Top down, see you way back. Riding all through the city with a bad one. Tell me why I got to be like that. Because you can't live your dream unless you have. I just want to wake up with all these pretty women